But now, having said the kind of you know broadcasting uh, tools you have developed, um, I would like I would love to say thank you so much for developing such wonderful tools. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Ravin. And then now I would like yeah. to uh, welcome our uh, CEO of com- uh, Darin Company, Rio Young Team. So yeah, now your turn, sir. So you you please uh, explain about your broadcasting system and all. Yeah. So yeah, it's. Yeah, uh, this system is an uh, integrated solution combining broadcasting uh, switch and mixer network streaming solution. So basically, as you see now, uh, we are completely integrate virtual camera and real camera and PowerPoint and uh, many many inputs actually if you go to classroom you will see blackboard uh, projectors uh, and document camera and students and right now all the untacked the zoom people we have to integrate so now i'm showing you one of the screen where the students can see the students in the uh, cloud so you will feel that everybody in the uh, the classroom where it looks like this. So the, this is a kind of uh, virtual classroom where teacher right. and electric yeah. whiteboard and uh, students are all integrated in the classroom. So we bring the teacher and students in a cloud space where they can see whatever he wants to see. For example, right now, the, it's like a broadcasting station doing. They, they usually Uh, usually they have a cameras in the studio and there is a lecturer, there is a students so the switcher mixer operated by the technical director and also program director managing what kind of scene they have to show to the broadcast uh, TV st- uh, screens same way we use uh, when I talk we bring myself big and still we keep the PowerPoint and students together so students can see all the environment as like they are sitting in the classroom they feel there is a blackboard there is a whiteboard there is a students so everything looks like a classroom that's why we call this is a zoom class or whatever the webinar class or microsoft teams class as long as we use any video delivery youtube class so youtube showing the camera but right now we are showing virtual uh, classroom the problem is how we manage all this one by the teacher because every people using the uh, studios many cameras there and programmers and the directors and they they manage all the broadcast content so they discuss discuss with the teacher how we manage the camera how he present so they they make a very a bureaucratic way of recording and then they spend a lot of time for editing and using that kind of conventional broadcast technology they cannot make a live lecture as like I'm doing for example when I when I try to make a PowerPoint presentation which is a just a PowerPoint file so automatically they they bring the screen big so students will concentrate on watching this and then if I click this one this one will change the screen it's like you do all the all the presentation using the pointer in the classroom. You're just using this pointer. Basically, I don't need to operate the machine. All operation made from the machine. So Blackboard generation has been changed to smart class. So my idea is bring this machine into classroom so all the students can see same screen as you are watching from your mobile phone. They will watch same screen in the classroom. So the uh, classroom we feel, all the students in the classroom actually, they feel like they are sitting in the real classroom. So to make this one, I need, uh, I make a special device. This is very complicated broadcast system, but anyway, all operation made by the machine. So teacher's mission is only moving the pointer or mouse. So we are emphasizing to operate this machine, there is no no teaching courses how to operate the machine 
And when any teacher come, they just uh, do start presentation. Then all the other part, computer and iStudio machine doing everything by themselves. And all this video is a real time, no editing. So what you are watching is all real time uh, operating from, from myself. You see my room is just a... Uh, uh, this kind of green screen the wall one of the wall is green that's all you just put the green as like you do uh, virtual background in zoom same way we do and then as soon as you move the pointer and the screen change everything by themselves this is a, a worldwide pattern how we make a, a real-time presentation and frankly watching this video seems like better than listening in the classroom so even students go to classroom, how he, he understand the co content, how he understand the teacher's presentation is how he select which one they have to watch. Sometimes teacher, sometimes blackboard. But what students has to watch is managed by the teacher. When teacher move the pointer here, automatically they move the pointer and the screen like this. When he move the pointer to the students, automatically students coming out, so students will see the student teachers. So that way, everything is working. And the the only problem is this machine is a complete system: cameras, lightings, machines, complicated studio. Uh, that's why pricing go like uh, twenty five thousand US dollar to. $45,000. The machine I'm using is uh, $45,000 including all the camera everything. That's why I'm, I'm quite reluctant if, he, if he, uh, India really managing such a money for building the studio. But once you have studio, the production speed is real time. Everything to make this kind of video production from any uh, conventional broadcast equipment, you need a huge time and you need a lot of people to operate. But once you put this machine in one time, you have uh, many uh, different uh, way of learning. And we built a system like this, which means once you put this one, immediately you can start the lecture like, like I'm doing now. So this is called iStand. This is called iDesk. So the, that price which I'm mentioning is coming this. So you don't need to wiring, cabling, everything. You need only just putting this one within within one hour, everything is ready, you can start the lecture to everywhere in the world. So this machine has many different way of application. One is classroom, one is small studio, one is the meeting room, one is a classroom, one is the auditorium room. Everywhere you can put this one to make a beautiful environment to connect every people in the world. So uh, basically uh, this one convert your classroom, your meeting room, or your office, your auditorium room, turns into tele-presentation smart class. So what you are watching from your smartphone is the smart class. This is what we are bringing this machine in, in everywhere. So the classroom can use this machine to make the uh, online students and offline students together. So, uh, same screen can show in distance classroom because the classroom always necessary to have a to have a students together. The students coming who is coming to the classroom always concentrated because there's a teacher, there's a students, and studying alone it looks like a beautiful, but actually it it happens many problem because students can decide to go outside, start watching. So too much freedom f to select for their temptation. But once they come to class, every student concentrate. There's a teacher and you give the task for them to study very quickly. And then everybody watching concentrate so we can connect all the classroom together. This is called hybrid class. Hybrid means you have online students, you have offline students together. So. Uh, the, uh, once you use Moodle or whatever the learning management platform, you can put s small video, question and answer because the students have to study by themselves. That's the way how we make all the presentation. I'm, I'm trying to make united classroom. Once you make all the courses from every school, it will come out to the uh, platform. And that way every student can select which class they want to li listen. Because the study 
never made by the teacher. Teacher is a coach to them for them to study by themselves. But teaching, teaching is not really made by the teacher. Teaching is only way to made by the students himself. The only thing the teacher has to do is give the milestone, give the directions, and motivate the students to study very hard. So even I have a good presentation device over the smartphone. What I'm emphasizing is this machine, not for teacher to make a better presentation, but for students to get more motivation so they can study by themselves. Any question, Lavin or Sunil? Um. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Saurabh, do you have any question? Yeah. Saurabh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have a question. Yeah. Sir, actually, uh, like, uh, there are many uh, institutions uh, which are using AWS software, uh, yeah. which is made by Amazon. So, they are also doing the same thing only. Like, they will also, uh, if you have seen the classes taken by Baiji or uh, like other classrooms, so they also take a classes in 3D only. So what makes his software different from this AWS? Like the, whatever the facility they, they are telling, they are already implemented in India, already by I, AWS. Yeah, you I, can, you can uh, use that one. And I'm, I'm not claiming other system is bad or not. I'm just uh, showing what I can do now. You can see the difference. Yeah, if you yeah, don't feel any okay, difference. Okay, okay, sir. I, 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 in order to you know, um, take care of the entire operations, you need to understand how they are building the system first. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and then, okay. yeah. yeah. Just, so just make a question about... what this machine is. I, I'm not blaming other people's uh, technology. I appreciate all other technology to use together, like yeah, a Zoom. That's... Without Zoom, my machine yeah. cannot send the video to you. We are not competing with Zoom. We are not competing with Microsoft Teams. I suggest them to use everything what they can use. And this is one of the methods where I can eliminate all the complicated broadcast machines for you to make a nice e-learning content. And also, this is the only device yes, you yes, can make in real yes. time. I think that's more than enough right now. Okay. Uh, now we will see the, we will go through with the, you know, the entire system. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And this then, um, for you know, there is different purposes. Like for, uh, yeah, like he shows for modern classes, for smart classes, and there is other purpose also of this uh, this broadcasting system. So he gave the I told yes, uh, yes. Uh, the need for education purpose. So he gave today presentation very specific purpose for the education only. Yeah. Mm. So, Sunil, it's not only we are focusing on education. Education is one segment. Definitely, when we are um, saying that if we like the concept, entire concept, we will be going, uh, you know, the, no, we will be taking exclusive rights for India. That is how we will be talking later stage. There is okay, no I'll any more question you, we can find in today's meeting. I will tell you one thing. Yeah. What is, yeah, the, yeah. What's, what is the definition of smart class? Yeah. See, we understand your concept, and yeah. I'll, I'll say some. Yeah. I'm, I'm emphasizing there was no real smart class devices in the world. That's why if you type Wikipedia, the, what the smart class is, you will find that there's nobody mentioning about the smart class even in Wikipedia, which means nobody can define what the real smart class is. Everybody. No, that is absolutely right. Yeah, everybody talking about smart class, but none of the people really def define the smart class. Simply, smart class is a class from the smartphone. From the smart device, if you feel you are in the classroom, that's the def definition of smart class. That's why I told iStudio, which I'm using now, is the only way to make a smart class, which can make a better lesson than classroom. And yeah. because of this, if you connect with Zoom or whatever the uh, video meeting pro platform, Zoom meeting, Microsoft Teams, Google Meetup, every meeting platform providing you as like a coffee shop. You have a meeting room where they don't have any electric whiteboard. Now I am trying to bring electric whiteboard, virtual electric whiteboard, which teacher can manage by himself.
So the smart device will show this kind of presentation material in a way of virtual, in a way of best understandable for the students. So if you type the same question in Wikipedia, what is telepresentation? You will see many telepresenter in the Wikipedia. Tele telepresence system from Cisco, from Polycom, everybody claiming telepresence. But if you type telepresentation, you will find there's no device in this world. So I'm claiming, it's like you are watching me, even you come to my, my place, if you fly, five hour flight from India to here, you will see same presentation from my machine, which means telepresentation, which made by iStudio can make a better presentation than local classroom if they use a classical way of teaching which means the screen with your PowerPoint, teacher is here, so you always you have to switching PowerPoint screen or teacher. It's like a Zoom. Zoom has a, a the sharing mode. So you can make a PowerPoint sharing, so everybody watching only PowerPoint, and then you click the, the presenter mode and you will see the presenter. This is very inconvenient and very uh, the uh, distractive way. But now, yeah. what you are watching is really concentrate and whenever you use uh, this one automatically, they will make a bigger screen very easily for students to watch where they have to concentrate on. And classroom same. So that's why I call this device, this is the world first telepresentation system. Same time, this is the first device to make a smart class. And all the lot of technology involved, switch and mixer inside, multiple chroma key there, 3D rendering there, a lot of intelligent way of control devices there, huge, more than 10 years we invested this uh, technology. So I hope to put this one in every classroom to use this one so the presentation can be really recorded. Unfortunately, if you look at all the classrooms in India, how many classes are in, in universities, how many classrooms in the India elementary school? Maybe 100,000 classrooms. But surprising thing is none of the class is recorded, so people can see again after the class. Even in America, yeah. how many classes are recorded? Because if they have a camera, if they have a lot of technology, as you are engineer asking me question, there are many technology. Yes, I agree. But why they don't use device in every classroom so students can share later? Why there's no videos from, from MIT in real time in the classroom? And why students want to go MIT to listen to the classroom? Because any technology available in the market, if they record, is not computer with a real time classroom. Now I am I'm claiming new way of teaching, way of recording, way of presentation. So we'll change completely new way of education platform. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Excuse Thank me, you so sir. Much. It was wonderful. Yeah. So just one Sorry. more question. Uh, sir, till what number we can extend this meeting? Like, uh, what is the limitation of the participants? There's no limitation. Participant can just use a smartphone or a computer as like they are using Zoom or any conference. Only teacher side. They send this video. Instead of camera, they send this kind of mixed camera scene to them. Okay, sir. So some, sort of, I got it, the concept, you know. I'll, I'll yeah. tell you no, once we finish the, this. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. know. You got it right. Why they are saying yeah, that it can be used by n numbers? Yes, that is possible. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent can be done. Yes. Correct. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you so much. It was thank wonderful you, talking you. to you. Yeah. Thank it was thank wonderful you. talking to you. And um, we will again inform Sunil, and then we will have a, another round of meeting where we will be discussing regarding the pricing and how we can implement it. Yeah, first uh, to okay. start, we need a contract for providing more idea and marketing material. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Nice talk. Thank you very bye much. Bye bye. Bye bye, Kim. Bye.